I was lucky to be invited by Congresswoman Robin Kelly, who helped organize this event, and she uh, is my inspiration. She really linked up with the students who were here. We were a part of planning the event. We have a STEM Council and STEM Academy out of our second congressional district office, so we're very interested in getting younger people interested in the STEM fields. Well, what was interesting, of course, was to be able to speak directly to our astronauts on the space station. Jeff and Tim were up there fielding questions from students from all over this region. I felt I'm going to give a compliment and shout out to South Suburban College for their part in this and also all the young people, the students that asked the questions. They did a magnificent job. The questions that the kids asked were fantastic and uh, uh, the astronauts were fun. They gave good answers. They gave fun answers. Uh, the way they were flipping the microphone back and forth to each other in weightlessness, that was cool. Well, STEM is the key to our future because those are the folks who are going to design the next space station. They're going to design the next infrastructure for America. They are critical to our success. Uh, we're here today because we're invited by Senator Durbin's office. Uh, land surveyors are kind of a dwindling breed. In fact, the average age of a land surveyor in the United States is 58 years old. And the requirements to be a land surveyor is a very strong interest in mathematics. Uh, so it really ties into this whole STEM program. I visit a lot of my uh, companies, manufacturers, hospitals, different, different industries, and they're all looking for people with some acumen, some background in science, technology, engineering, and math. I mean, it's, it's definitely the job of the future for young people now.